Hi everyone, I'm Shira from Adelante and today I'll teach you about user fields and ticket fields. Let's dive in. On the customers page, you'll find information about all your users. These are the former tickets of the user. On the left, you can see the user's type, his access, his email, organization, language, and time zone. Here in the bottom are user fields that we manually added. For example, user's age. Let's find out how to create new user fields. On the settings page, choose user fields. Here you'll see all the different user fields that are active at the moment and also the inactive ones. You can see the type of the user fields like date, text, dropdown, or multiline. Click on the Add field to create a new one. Now you should choose the field type you desire. Let's go for dropdown. Give the field a name, for example, type. A relevant field key is added automatically. Here you can add a description for your field. And now it's time to fill your field values. I'll add VIP and regular. When you're done, press save and your new user field is ready. Now I can go back to the customer's page and check out my new user field. Our next topic is ticket fields. On the left, I can see information about the ticket, the requester, assignee, followers, tags, type, and priority. Here on the bottom, I can see an example for a ticket field that we manually added. Is the customer satisfied with the service? Now I'll teach you how to create new ticket fields. On the settings page, choose ticket fields. Here you'll see all the different tickets that are active at the moment. And you can also see the inactive ones, just like we saw earlier on the user fields page. Click on add field to create a new one. Now you should choose the field type, for example, date. I'll name my new field date of request. Add a relevant description and define the permissions of the field. Set the title shown to agents. If the end user has access to this field, you should set the title and description shown to the user as well. Decide if this field is required to solve a ticket. And when you're done, hit the save button. We've reached the end of this lesson. I hope you got all the information you need. Thank you for watching.